Good afternoon, welcome back to Me Being Cheap. So today's yard sale day in our community and I actually did not go out yard sailing this morning uh, because we had some winter weather that came through and it was actually a little bit cold, a little bit icy, had a little bit of snow that came through. So before we get started talking about yard sale, I want to pick your brain and see if you guys have any ideas on how to fix this. So I have two bath mats here. They are 14 years old. Uh, most people do not know the precise age of their bath mats. I happen to know mine because I bought new bath mats when we had remodeled the bathroom. So anyway, they are starting to come unsewed. I could clip the edge or clip these threads, um, but looking for a way to prevent that from happening more. All right, so as far as yard sailing, um, I was looking for a couple items. I actually gave my money to my oldest son who was out uh, yard sailing. Did not find what I was looking for, uh, but a couple days ago, uh, one of the guys in town that used to purchase um, storage units, uh, and he had a business selling used items, um, he had set up his, uh, his wares a couple days early, and uh, my Sons like to pick through old electronics and find things and sometimes they, they pick through piles uh, like trash piles on the side of the road or yard sales or what have you. So they actually found this console, it's a game console and it's called Intellivision 2 and it's made by Mattel. Now there is no power control for this and there are no games. But my sons were looking, and actually, this um, you can sell these units if they work for about a hundred dollars. Um, also picked up a Game Boy, and my son has been doing some experiment with how to lighten the uh, plastic on the Game Boys that when they turn yellow. So he tried a magic eraser, he tried a little bit of peroxide. That's what's in the bag, and he set it out in the sun this morning. And it seems like it's actually lightened it up a little bit. It's still a little bit yellow. Um, this Game Boy was actually a working unit. Um, as you can tell, there's a slight problem with the screen though. There's some black dots. So we're not sure if that's replaceable or not. But I tell you, um, it's not uncommon to see things like this laying around my house that are being taken apart. There's usually little piles of screws everywhere. This thing is full of screws, little screwdrivers. Um, what the kids do is again, they, they pick through trash piles, yard sale stuff, um, you know, thrift stores, and they get the old game consoles. They enjoy playing the old games. But what they do is they actually take some of the controllers apart. So if they have ones that aren't working, they use others and spare parts and actually build working units. So. Um, we have Nintendo 64 controllers that were picked up at that same yard sale. And I actually, I got this bag. Um, my youngest is needing a gym bag for track. Um, I was able to pick up a, uh, an aquarium pump. This still works. I plugged it in while I was there. And more Nintendo 64 controllers. Um, this is actually a mouse that goes to a Nintendo game, so they'll clean this up and see what they can do with it. Um, it still has the, the end for it. And we've got other controllers such as for the Super Nintendo. So I'm actually going to run this bag through the washing machine because it is dusty. Uh, but this will make a nice duffel bag for track practice. And then my kids have some uh, controllers they can take apart if they're not working. They've got spare parts to maybe fix up some of the other ones. So uh, my kids are into looking through stuff too, trying to save money. And uh, it's, it's a good skill to have. Now it can be, you know, aggravating sometimes to have things like this just laying around. Um, but it's actually good for the kids because they learn how to fix stuff and how to get things working again. So it's a, it's a cheap hobby. Um, I think all this, uh, these controllers, the air pump, um, the, the Game Boy, this game console and the bag all together, I think we only spent about $5. So. All right, that's it. As far as what I was wanting, I was looking for a leaf blower, um, a pressure washer, um, maybe a kayak, 
um, an old zip drive if you guys know what that is I'm looking for a zip drive so these are some of the things I was looking for on yard sale day my son didn't see them so all right thanks for watching have a great day